So we'll first look at the Home Office age assessment, so the Home Office's own practice and policies in respect of conducting age age assessments themselves um, and the policies um, that have developed. Um, I'll give you some brief background as to that and where we are now. Um, then we'll move on to the local authority age assessments. That tends to be um, the fields that we are really dealing with by way of challenges at the moment. Um, and that has settled a bit, um, depending on the areas that you have, geographical areas that you work in, I should say. Um, and with as part of that, we will look at what I've termed the Merton jurisprudence, which is effectively the case law that has developed following the starting case of um, Merton um, in the High Court. Um, then we will just briefly look at short form assessments because it's important for practitioners to be aware of the difference um, between the short form assessments and effectively a full age assessment. And then we will finish with looking at the Nationality and Borders Act 2022 changes. Um, but many of these are not yet really uh, in force or that operational. And um, I will explain what I mean by that operational um, when we come to that at the end of this webinar. The um, case of FZ just set out um, that effectively the admin court does not habitually decide questions of fact on contested evidence and is not generally equipped to do so. So as a result of that, the practice uh, started to transfer things over. All evidence is not normally a feature of judicial re review proceedings or statutory appeals, but we would therefore draw attention to the power which there is to transfer age assessments where permission is given uh, to the upper tribunal. That's from Section 31, Capital A of Little 3 of the Senior Courts Act 1981, as inserted by the uh, Tribunal Courts and Enforcement 2007 Act uh, Section 19. So you'll recall when the effectively the transfer of judicial immigration, certain immigration judicial reviews started to take place uh, following that section coming into force uh, from the High Court to the Upper Tribunal. Um, that was then uh, applied in respect of age assessments as well. 